Okay, welcome to our third race here from Exeter, race 27. It's the first qualifier of the Per Temps Handicap Qualifier for the uh, showpiece at Cheltenham. So it's over three miles. It's an ultra 140 handicap. So number one is Young Guy, Blue Moon, the favourite. Two is Consequence of Stars. Three is Crossbow Creek. Four is Gilded. Five, Dresden Dynamo. Six, Claustrophobic. Seven, King's College Boy. Eight, Summer Harbour. Nine, Amoya Super. Ten, Black Autumn. Eleven, Fantasy Man. Twelve is Nickel Coin. Rick Grimes is 13, Quack is 14, Sister Winning 15, Make You Laugh 16, 17 is Buzzer Time, Strap Me Up is 18, Japan Novere is 19, and Tribago is 20. There are 20 of them to call around this three mile hurdle course here at Exeter. JK Rowland came from Exeter, as does Chris Martin from Coldplay, just in case you wanted to know that. They're under the orders and they're away. We're going to wait for them to settle down. I think the, the first hurdle comes quite quick here. And there it is. Everybody gets over it. Uh, quite a slow jump out wide by the big grey, which I think is uh, uh, nickel coin. There into the second. And everybody's over that. So up front is buzzer time. And gilded. Oh, guided, sorry. Geeded, guided. My apologies if I don't call that one correctly. As I approach the third. So it's guided and buzzer time. I did. Yes, I think I'm right. And they're going to jump the third together. The remainder of the pack. It's, uh, it's a fairly slow pace, this one. Maybe he really wants to take it on. Buzzer time. Jockey just pulling him back a little bit. And guided. These two are leading. The back markers are Young Guy Blue Moon, the favourite, and Rick Grimes from Graham Clutterbuck. And buzzer time just being pushed along a little bit. Not sure if anything really wants to take this long. There's a fair few going to go wide here. We approach this bend, and they're certainly going to lose out, as you can see from the as they go round. So it's buzzer time that leads. And guided in second, third, third is Fantasy Man. He's followed through by Tribago and Japan Nouvier. And we've got Consequence of Stars out wide. Summer Harbour in the Black Six silks wider still is sister winning they're followed through by claustrophobic crossbow creek make you laugh strap me up king's college boy desden Dynamo, black autumn and we've got quack then we'll get over that amoya super nickel coin young guy blue moon just at the rear at the rear of all is rick grimes he's a nasty bugger out of uh, walking dead if i remember rightly so it's buzzer time that leads as we get a shot from the stands here. Obviously those navy boys in the vests, Exeter being a naval town. Or is it Plymouth and they all come to Exeter? Not sure. But it's buzzer time that's going to lead them past the winning post with a circuit to go. From Trabago in second and Fantasy Man. All fairly closely grouped here. All by Rick Grimes being pushed along. But it's buzzer time from the chasing fantasy man Tribago and guided and consequence of stars then we've got Summer Harbour out wide crossbow creek in the light blue silks of the red cap there's a couple getting some good runs some claustrophobic against the fence in the yellow silks one out wide here is Black Autumn they take the seventh they're halfway through the hurdles here and there's a bit of a slow jump at the rear by Amoya Super obviously you can have uh, two runners in this one I think there's uh, the first three qualify. Could be the first four. Graham will always put me right. But it's buzzer time that leads. You have to be careful here, though. It's uh, the final is a 0 to 140 handicap. So you don't really want your horses being beyond 140 if you're planning to this. And we're losing one. In fact, we're losing two. It looks like Amoya Super and King's College Boy are going. Grimes has hung on there. So that's a Graham clutter. But funny enough, both got two in the horse. Max Cherry and... Uh, King's College boy for Graham, both pulled up. So it's still buzzer time that leads by a good couple of lengths to Guided. And then we've got the three of Claustrophobic, Fantasy Man and Consequence of Stars. And Quacks a length further back and Tribago against the fences Japan Novier. Outside of that is Make You Laugh. They go uphill here. And then we've got Summer Harbour and Strap Me Up in the Pink. Outside of that is Summer. Is, sorry, it's Rick Grimes following them through a nickel coin. And we've got Dresden Dynamo. Young Guy, Blue Moon, Crossbow Creek and Black Autumn. We're losing another. Actually, Sister Winning's been pulled up. I'm not sure if that's Black Autumn getting pulled up as well. And it is. We've lost four on the pull-up. And all of that's actually a really slow pace. I'm surprised they've got pulled up here. But still, buzzer time, the grey. 
It's led from the beginning. Guided's pretty much been in second most of the way. They're over the tenth now. Everybody jumps over it. The one at the back is Young Guy Blue Moon, who's actually the favourite for the race. Um, but obviously carrying fairly top weight, and it's probably starting to show. So they run downhill now. So they approach the next. It's buzzer time from Gilded, Guided, and then Strap Me Up and Quack. Claustrophobic still against the fence. Consequence of Stars is in a good position. Tribago's doing well. Summer Harbour's a little bit wide. Rick Grimes has made up some really good ground now. Got a much better position than Fantasy Man and Japan Novier. Make you laugh. They're a length or so ahead of Crossbow Creek. Dresden Dynamo, Nickel Coin, the grey under a bit of pressure as Yungai Blue Moon's got a bit of work to do. So buzzer time starts to head for home. We've got four and a half furlongs left to run. Claustrophobic looks comfortable behind them but probably wanted to take over there. But it's buzzer time and claustrophobic. Rick Grimes, good position. Guided still there. Consequence of stars. They go around the bend and they approach the next. And it's buzzer time there heads for home. He's got a couple of lengths of advantage over claustrophobic. On the outside is Make You Laugh. Rick Grimes. Here comes Consequence of Stars. So they're coming up to the 12th now. There's only going to be two left to jump and a very short run in as we've seen here at Exeter. So it's Buzzer Time still leads, but he's getting caught over the 12th. Buzzer Time gets caught by Make You Laugh. Make You Laugh just nosing in front now. Here comes Consequence of Stars. They take the 13th together. They're all over it. It's Make You Laugh, Consequence of Stars, Rick Grimes. Buzzer Time on the outside. Quack. Make You Laugh and Consequence of Stars are going to go neck and neck to the next. Fantasy Man plugging on. Looks like could make it. They go over the last. Better jump by Make You Laugh and Consequence. They're neck and neck here. Fantasy Man on the outside. Buzzer Time making up some ground. Make You Laugh starting to push forward here. Half Furlong, make you laugh, Consequence of Stars, make you laugh, I think the weight's going to tell, make you laugh's going to take it from Consequence of Stars in second. Good run there, I think that's, um, in fact I'm not sure, I'm hoping it's uh, Martin Liedermorbs, and his colours of last year, but I also noticed Thunder Spark tends to swap and chop and change his colours for every horse, so it could be a Thunder Spark horse, let's wait and see. And we wait for the final to come up. So the qualifiers there will be Make You Laugh, Consequence Star and Fantasy Man. It is a Martin Leadham horse. Well done, Martin. Make You Laugh. Off of just uh, 9 stone 12, the bottom weight. Consequence of Stars, Joshua Sutherland. That 11 stone 8, just uh, a little bit too much. Third was Fantasy Man for David Robertson. Four was Crossbow Creek for Ghost Zapper. Fifth was Summer Harbour for Jim Murray.